Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I'm a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on May 14th, 2022 at approximately 3.17 p.m. PST. Needless to say, we scrambled that one badly, but this is a live recording, therefore you get all the hiccups. Okay, don't know if that's good or bad, you get to figure that one out. So let's try the date again, shall we? It is May 14th, 2022, at approximately 3.17 p.m. PST. Now, I'm going to start off on a little bit of an odd note. You know, I, I, I was supposed to go live this morning at, at 8 a.m., from 8 a.m. to 10 into 10 a.m. to discuss Atlantis. Well, to discuss my memories of life on Atlantis, which, by the way, is memory. It is not research. Okay, I've never looked in, I haven't looked much into what they say happened on Atlantis. I simply know what happened from my end. Now, I am going to be on tomorrow night from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, P uh, PST again. Okay, unfortunately, the problem this morning was a technological one. For whatever reason, my computer decided to dump its, dump its, uh, its mic protocol for the camera I work with. Okay, now I did get it straightened out, obviously, but unfortunately it was well after the time I should have been recording. So, here we are. Now, that said, tomorrow night when I go live, okay, I'll be going live on YouTube. When I do, if you've got questions, absolutely join me in the chat room. My apologies for the people on the on the eastern side of the world for the date being or for the time being a little different. But unfortunately, technology and I have argued for a very long time. What is today? The fourteenth, I believe. Yep. I'm good memory, just really short. Now I came back to this world for one primary reason. Okay, and that is to pass on a simple message that working together, we can make this a better world for virtually everybody. Okay, but the thing is, it's not just one person. It's just not me. It's not just me that's going to be able to do this. This is where I do require your assistance. So if you, you know, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel because we're covering a lot of information lately. And this is one of those little situations where we really have to take a look at, at what's going on and what, on the whole, we can do as, as, as a complete society. And when I talk about everyone in existence, I do mean humans, off-worlders, ancient races, hybrids, animals, plants, energy, energy patterns, the whole nine yards. Now, if you've been listening to me over the years, as far as the journey goes, I started March 6th of, of 2021, but I've been on first on on Spaced Out Radio on the first Friday of every month for I think I'm I think I'm in the sixth year now. I really should talk to talk to Dave Scott about that just to get an actual an accurate count on it. But I think I'm in my sixth year. I might be in my seventh. It's been a long time. That much I do know. So, with that in mind, now I build myself as a spiritual guide, and the reason for that is every tool I offer, if they apply to me, I'm personally using them to this day. Okay, every philo the philosophies in life I live by uh, that I that I that I talk about are the same ones I personally live by. Okay, and the reality of it is, we are dealing with a situation where society has taken an absolutely bizarre turn. Now, can it be turned around? The answer is definitively yes. But it is going to require everybody's help. Virtually everybody. Some of you are not going to be happy with this. Because in order to change the way this society is running, it is imperative that each and every one of us take a look in the mirror and go, Okay, am I content? Am I, is my world working the way I desire it to? Now, these four little words here. I am worth it. This, these are the four most powerful words in, the, in any language that I've come across this lifetime. Where it comes to self-esteem, 
self-worth, you know, self-motivation, all of this. You know, the fact of the matter is, in order to change your life for what you consider the better, the first thing you've got to do is realize you're not content with the way your life is. Then you've got to realize those four words. You're the one that you've got to be changing this for. Okay, everybody in existence, I, I was talking to one young lad one day, and he, and because I've been telling people for years, you don't have to have your life sorted out by the time you're 20. And this one lad came to me one day, and he goes, you know, I wish I had listened to you. You've been telling me for years I didn't have to have my life in order by the time I was 20, in order to be successful. But they turned around and said, the problem was that every other person that I talked to, every one of them, told me I, that I had to have my life in order. So I went down a path that I'm not content with now, and now I'm having to correct the direction. The same applies to a staggering number of people. Now, I'm not the best of the best, by any means, at least not in my opinion. Okay, but... Will I stand my ground on the on the outlook that I have on life? And when I look at something and go, this is the path that is required in order to be successful, the answer is yes. Now, I've talked about a number of things, okay, in the last little while. And we got to this idea of patience and having to really stay focused, having patience to stay with your efforts in order to change the way your life is going. Okay, the the final component in creating and co-creating your own success, realizing you're the one that's going to have to do the work, is persistence. You have to stay tra on track. Okay, if you fall off the wagon, if you fall off track, get back on it. Okay, doesn't matter if you come off it, it matters whether you get back up. Okay, the odds of you actually starting a, pro starting a project that you've never done before and actually getting it right the first time are not good. Okay, it's just that simple. Okay, when a kid learn starts learning to walk, when a baby starts to learn to walk, they do not get up and walk comfortably right off the bat very often. Once in a while, you'll find somebody that does. Okay. But more often than not, they'll stand up, take a step or two forward, and fall down, and get back up. And that is the key. you got to get back up. you got to stay with it. Okay. Now, do I am I a firm believer that you can accomplish the goals that you set out? The answer is absolutely yes. Okay. But the trick is to have an absolute foundation. I didn't bring my sheet over with me. Well, that's depressing. Well, not overly, it's over there. Anyway, okay, that sign. Now, this is the other one that works extremely well. Okay, we have legally acquired a minimum of $3,800 by May 31st of 2022 at a prior one minute to midnight. Now, the reality is this $3,800, that is what you're aiming to generate, not what I am. The thirty-eight works for me. Now, the nice part there, and something you have to realize, is that 3800 that all I require for my household is 25 But I'm pushing 38 right now because I'm aiming, I'm starting way behind the eight ball, and my idea and my goal is to make certain that you have the opportunity that I, did, that I didn't take advantage of. Okay. In as much as when I was a kid, I didn't actually understand what was going on. The, the trouble and troubles I went through, hopefully the, this whole series, this whole journey that I'm walking you through will help. Will help you attain your goals before you get to my age, because I've just hit 59. Okay. You know, would that I had hit it and I'd come to this realization years ago. Okay, unfortunately, I did not. But, where is my... there. And it would seem that I'm missing something rather important. There it is. 
There we go, this fine little book here. Now, I'll be working on this this, this afternoon once I finish this video. This is simply a notebook, but this is why I do all my hard copy writing in. Okay, that's the book that I do all my and my hard copy writing in for these two books here. Well, actually, for this whole series. Now, these two books, okay, we have The Birth of the Wolf Pack and The End of an Epoch. These two, as you can see, are already in print. These two are both available on author, at author.com, authorhouse.com, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Indigo, Chapters. There's a number of places you can get them online, or you can order them directly through me. Okay, and as far as that goes, take a look at the list, at the list of books that are, av are available. Everyone on that, every book that is listed under this video is available directly through me utilizing PayPal as a way to pay for it. Okay. Now, at present, I've got six books that are in print, that I've got printed, and I am working towards getting them onto the open market. But, that's one step at a time. Okay. Now, the whole catch to this is, those books, start. I started those, I started, I wrote the outline, when I was 15 years old. And then life got in the way and everything got put on hold. Now at 59, I'm starting to get them out. And I'm about halfway through writing The Return to Paradise, which is the final book in that in that last trilogy there. Okay. And I am pushing to have it out for the end of this year, but I've got to get started working on certain things with it. Again, it boils down to going, this is the goal I've got for me. Okay, and like I've told people, I, and I got asked again the other day, you know, just on Saturday, I think it was, wonder if I've got the information right here. Possibly, possibly not, but we'll figure out. Okay. This particular one, when it first came in, yeah, on my birthday, I was asked about another, another, um, appearance on another radio show. Okay. Am I willing to go on people's podcast radio shows? Absolutely. Okay. You know, the reality is I've got a message that's got to get out to everybody in existence. And that can only be done by stepping out of the spot, out of the shadows and into the spotlight. Okay. Now, the same day, I got asked if I would be willing to come down to a to a UFO to a UFO um, to a UFO conference to talk about alien races, off-worlders, and their patterns. And again, the answer is absolutely. The catch is that the the whole the whole um, travel thing is a little bit of a glitch right now. But if you're interested in my coming down, absolutely drop me a line at one of the contact points below this video. Or drop me a line in the comments, on, you know, along with these videos. I'd love to hear your your view. Now, I was planning on talking about Atlantis this morning, and I will be talking about it tomorrow evening, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific, about the things that I remember taking place there. Okay, unfortunately, computers sometimes are glitchy for me, but I was quite happy to find out that. In spite of of their own complications, uh, you know, we did manage to get it worked out. Otherwise, I was going to end up missing this entire weekend. So I'm quite happy about that. Now, the nice part about it is finances are turning around. But the catch to making your finances work properly is to understand two things. Okay, first and foremost, you're the one that's got control over them. But it does take discipline. You know, a couple of days ago, while well, I got on Friday, yesterday, so it wasn't a couple of days ago, I managed, because I got paid, of course, I cleared off my, my credit card right off the bat. Okay. And now I've already got stuff on it. But what's happening, and I didn't understand this myself until I went in to check my credit rating. But it turns out that this idea of putting money on it and paying it off right away is actually beneficial in the way of bringing your credit rating up. 
Now, the neat part about it for me is I do have a, you know, I do have a, an issue around or a reason for going into heavy debt later this year. I wasn't planning on, like I said, I will not be buying a, I will not be buying a house. I just don't see the point to it. Right now, I've got a really sweet setup for me personally. You know, when you think about it, I've got a bad leg. I don't like yard work in the first place. Okay, so having a main floor, a main floor apartment where I've got no stairs to worry about at all. And the bonus there is if, unfortunately, we have a fire in the apartment. No matter where the fire is, I'm on the ground floor. I can get out. Okay, so there is no viable reason for me to shift gears. But I was, I've always lived, I've always... Um, I've always driven cars that are years old, like the one I'm driving right now was, is a 2003. Okay, I've had one vehicle in my life that was brand new. Okay, and I am seriously looking at a brand new one for this fall. But I'm going to wait until, until the new ones come out. So for the first time, I mean, here I am, 59 years old. And I'm looking at getting a brand new car. Now, this is kind of a bizarre setup, really. But I'm going to set it up in the way that I desire. And this is part of what's going to take me the time. When you go to do any purchasing, okay, make absolutely certain it's on your terms. Whenever you go to do any sales, you list your price at the price you personally would be willing to sell or to buy something at. You know, if you're trying to sell a car, and you're told, oh, try and market, you know, try and sell it for, you know, $15,000. But whatever the vehicle is, if you feel it is only that you would only pay five for that vehicle, list the vehicle at five, regardless of what the experts tell you. Okay. And yes, I did just say regardless. Because the reality is, if you're aiming to sell something at a price that you wouldn't pay, you're going to have a harder time selling it. Okay, most of the stuff that I get rid of, I could turn around and sell it. I could put it on one of these online marketplaces. Okay, I really could. I can't see the point. I got my use out of it. So most of the stuff I get rid of, I literally give away. This is not to say I'm better than anybody else. This is just my outlook. Okay, I already got my use out of it. It's already been, you know, it's already been paid for. It's already been dealt with. Why do I need to make more money at it? Okay. Of course, we could look at that and go, well, the reason you need to make more money is to survive. Well, if money mattered that much to me, I wouldn't have shared my consulting fees in half just at the beginning of this month. Okay. Money has seriously never been a primary motivator for me. But what has been a motivator, especially recently, is something called Feng Shui. Get the energy in your in your office, in the brain of your house and the brain of your home. Get it running smoothly. But remember, you're the one that's going to have to do the work, no matter how much you how much guidance you get from anybody. You're the one that's going to have to do it. And if you don't understand what they're telling you to do, ask questions. Okay, very necessary. Now, the, for me, technology has always been a challenge. I'm doing my best to not get totally frustrated with it because, frankly, when I get agitated around computers, computers die. Whether they're mine or somebody else's, doesn't matter. Okay. Now, the neat part about it, years ago, um, now, I don't know if you believe in past life experiences or not. Personally, I do, and I've had enough people confirm have independently confirmed in my living in different lifetimes. Okay, that I gave up with the question of trying to find proof. I was told by one, one day by by one young gentleman. He turned around, and told me, "Look," he said, "past life memories you're not going to get physical proof of. You'll get a lot of circumstantial evidence, but that's all you've got." So he says, "What you have to look at is take a look at the circumstantial evidence." And ask yourself this. You know, when you look at the circumstantial evidence, 
This is what police what police use in lieu of physical evidence. And like he told me, you've got enough enough circumstantial evidence to convince and uh, to convict somebody of murdering somebody else where the victim died a hundred years before the accused was born. Now, when I was in Atlantis, okay, I remember the the events quite clearly. I had a friend that was working down in the in the bowels of, of Atlantis, way down in, in the roof, in the in the sub basement levels. And he was a scientist himself. But there was a whole lot that went on, and I actually met him. He's alive today. But for years, he carried around the memory that he blew up Atlantis. As it turned out, he didn't. Somebody had sabotaged that, and that um, had sabotaged his work. In my case, I was. As one, one person did a past life regressionist regression on me, as they pointed out, I was actually a rocket scientist. On, on Atlant in Atlantis, this gentleman I ran into confirmed this as well. But the important factor, from my standpoint, was the realization that the theory of relativity, as, propo as pro proposed to the scientists back in the early 1900s by by Albert Einstein, the theory of relativity that he that he handed people. My understanding was, and this is what I was taught in school, was E equals MC squared. It is a viable mathematical equation. It does hold a lot of, of import, but it's got nothing to do with the theory of relativity. The functional theory of relativity, quite frankly, is 1 plus 1 equals 3. Now, I will go into that on another day, but I will tell you this, that is not a mathematical equation. Okay, it is, and it has absolutely nothing to do with math, well, I guess technically it's got something to do with mathematics, but it is a relationary thing. Okay, and this is why I say when I take a look at that, Plus, I take a look at the at the equation, and I I call it the equation. I don't have the numbers for it, but I explain. I took the time to explain this to somebody with a master's in both rocketry and astrophysics. It took me almost two hours because I don't have the modern terminology. Okay, but what I did was explain the OT the the OT drive. Okay. The OT drive is an interstellar drive. I do not have the mathematics. I have the understanding of what it is, and I can explain it. It just takes a while. And it was these two pieces of information that confirmed for me the fact that, yes, what one person had told me made total sense. You know, when the one, when the one regressionist told me that I was a rocket scientist back then, it made total sense. Given my given my own memories and these pieces of information. Okay. So, I mean, I'm looking at this going, there is something to be said about this. And given that I'm currently in the process of documenting, I think, 21 past lives. Okay, that I'm starting to fill in the pieces of. Excluding, of course, in all fairness, I really don't remember names, but that being so, or I don't recall them. That being said, I have trouble recalling people's names when I meet them. Okay, so again, what I'm doing is getting all this energy in my, in my office, in the brain of my house and home, running smoothly in order to work on what has to be worked on. As soon as I get done this video, I will be posting it, and again, my apologies for those of you that waited for me to come online this morning. Unfortunately, my computer was not cooperating. Okay, but I do hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, I will be on again tomorrow morning as well. Still carrying on with the journey. Okay, but, where to go? This. This is my next little task. Once I get done this video... I'll be going back to writing, and I'll be doing that for the better portion tonight, I suspect. 
But this is the hard copy that I've got turned around and put in the soft copy. Okay. And like I said, I've got about half of half of the next book done. Okay. Now, I would love to hear your comments in the comment section below on any topic. Whether I've covered it or not, doesn't matter. I've been working in the consulting field now for humans, for off-worlders, for ancient races, publicly since I was 10. Okay. From a professional standpoint, as in generating an income, I've been doing it since I was 23. Okay. I've just turned 50 dying. And with that in mind, okay, let's see. Yeah, we're in May, so I'll be right. I don't know the exact date that it became public knowledge. But at this point, okay, at this point, I've been doing it since I was 23, 59 now, while we're looking at what? 36 years. So it doesn't matter the topic that you're dealing with, be it social, business, Alien alien involved, as in missing time, you know, odd memories, false memories, you know, astral travel. All of these topics I've dealt with for decades. Okay. Now, when I'm doing, when I'm doing the, the journey, I do encourage you to drop your questions into the comment section. Or take a look below, the, below this video and you'll find a whole pile of ways of getting a hold of me. I do my best to respond. So with that in mind, absolutely ask what you will. I will be as open as I can. There are certain questions I am clearly not going to answer, but I'll let you know you're not getting an answer. Okay. Also, for those of you that are that do share with me or do come to me with problems of a personal nature, rest assured, your name does not come out regarding when I'm talking about what I'm dealing with. Okay, I just don't bother with people's names. The other thing I never do is if you, and I don't, I would have to say never, but I, you know, I may have made a mistake once, once or twice. But the rule of thumb is this. I don't answer questions like, like I had a client one day phone me up and they literally went. My neighbor down the, down the street, three doors down, just bought a boat. I want to know where he got the money for it. And my immediate response was, well, it didn't come out of your bank account. Well, I want to know where I got and where he got the money. I said, so? Go knock on his door and ask. Because I'm not telling you. And the reason for that is, if it has no bearing on where your life is going, I'm not giving you the answer because it boils down to psychic eavesdropping. And I'm not about to do it. There's way too many karmic problems with it. Now, on that note, I will be back again tomorrow. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.